render is about to 200x and i will tell you why hello everybody welcome to the channel my name is duck in today's video i'm going to explain to you how the render network is about to 200x and also give you my render bull run top price prediction at the end of the video so you definitely want to watch the entire video and of course i'm not going to talk too much and get straight into the point of this video so the first topic i want to talk about today is a major major partnership which happened earlier this week between Stability AI, Render Network and Endivor. So basically Otoy, the mother company of Render, Stability AI, Endivor and the Render Network are thrilled to announce a partnership between the industry leaders in open source generative AI models. So for the people who don't believe how big they are, let's take a look at the statistics. So basically Stability AI had more downloads than open OpenAI ChatGP, the fastest growing consumer application as August 2023. But what was even bigger is was as August 2023, the number of AI created images in the world was 15.47 billion. And Stable Diffusion, basically the programming of Stability AI, had 12.59 billion images created using their software. So basically, they were were almost 85% of all AI created images were on stable diffusion by Stability AI. That's how big they were. And the other major thing about this partnership is that the partnership leverages Render's decentralized GPU network, massively scaling AI training and inference power at cost to help democratize open source transparent generative AI technology and pronoun systems that will soon impact 3D, VFX and media production workload. The other major major part which was actually announced is that along the partnership Stability AI founder and CEO Emad Mostak will join the Render Network Advisory Board. So this guy is one of the greatest minds of basically open AI model history and he will be sitting at the Render Network Advisory Board. So this is really huge already, but there's so much more to come in this video. So the next major, major thing this week was Jules Yerbeck, the CEO of Autoy and Render, said this news was a lot to unpack. There is so much to talk about now with this news public, and I will go into details more later at GTC. Basically, NVIDIA's GTC, the world's largest AI conference, the video will be live on Monday, and I will make a crazy video next Saturday, so you definitely want to be subscribed. So basically, he says he's a huge step for render, Emmet and he has shared the same vision for decentralized computer render, serving a foundational role in the future of open source machine learning models. So this is the first time I hear the CEO actually talk about machine learning and AI training and the bigger part of his message was it will accelerate demand side for sure and do so within the existing BMI model. So he finally says that this will actually bring more and more usage to the network and will accelerate the demand side and actually accelerate the burning. And after that message the bullishness just kept going. So basically Jules posted a picture with Emmet and Emmet commented down below with 1 million GPUs in the swarm so basically the 1 million GPUs that render currently has on the waiting list we will accelerate open source AI at home and building better data sets models and systems to amplify creativity so it's already saying with these 1 million GPUs that render us we're gonna actually revolutionize the open source AI models also a very bullish thing he said that looking forward to taking it to 1 1 billion devices. What he means with these 1 billion devices is basically render nodes on Apple devices. So you can already run from your Mac Pro, from your MacBook Pro, from your iPad Pro on the render network. And of course the iPhone will be next. And with the iPhone, this could add another 1 billion devices for the render network. And a lot of people
people are skeptical, well, is he really going to use the 1 million GPUs? Does such a big company like Stability AI need it? So the answer is yes. We can actually see this from this question asked to the CEO where someone asked him, can we create videos similar like Sora? Where he had given the answer, given enough GPUs and good data, yes. And this was actually on February 22nd, a month before the other major news was announced. So people might be wondering, what is Sora? Sora is basically the text to video model of OpenAI, where they can make videos currently up to 60 seconds, featuring high detailed scenes, complex camera motion, and multiple characters with vibrant emotions. Like look at the prompt, they actually set of a beautiful snowy Tokyo city. Look, this looks basically cinema quality. How the camera is moving, how everybody's moving in the background, how the snow is falling, it's looking incredible. And you might be already thinking, what does this say about GPU usage? Well, most of you already knew that ChatGPT already is costing 21 million per month to operate, which is basically just a language learning model, will be nothing compared to basically the GPU power needed to create full movies or commercials with Sora, or basically the equivalent of what Stability AI could be building with the 1 million GPUs from the render network. And with all the given data, I can explain to you right now where the 200x from the title came from. So basically, this number is based on making an OpenAI competitor with Stable AI. So currently, as shown on the official render dashboard, Every week, 3.7 thousand render tokens are being burned with approximately 5,000 nodes being active. So this basically means that almost $40,000 worth of burning happens right now with 5,000 nodes. But if Stability AI uses 1 million nodes, that's an increase by already 200x. So this would mean 8 million worth of burning every week or 32 million dollars worth of burning every month. For people who think 32 million worth of burning is crazy, let me remind you that ChatGPT, which is nothing compared to a text to video model, is already costing 21 million per month to operate. So the number 32 million is more than believable. So this would actually mean that every month 3.2 million Million render tokens or almost 1% of the circulating supply will be burned. The fixed minting currently is 200,000 tokens per month. So this means to keep the burning and minting even that the price has to be $160 or more. And of course, the buying pressure is guaranteed, but the selling is not. So if the note operators don't sell and the strong holders don't sell either, this number of 1% could be way much like circulating supply is not the same as the supply that's available for buying. But even though you think this number is crazy, it's going to get way more crazier at the end of the video and we're going to continue the bullish news. So basically today, a couple of days after they announced the big big partnership Stability AI made an announcement itself they said that earlier today Emma resigned from his role as CEO of Stability AI and from his position on the board of director of the company to pursue decentralized AI so basically he left his CEO role to focus on decentralized AI just a couple of days after they announced the major partnership with the render network. Basically he said he's not going to beat centralized AI with more centralized AI and he's all in on decentralized AI. He might be referring to this basically article where they said that the customer demand for Nvidia chips is so far above supply that CEO Jensen Hang had to discuss how fairly the company decides who can buy them. So you cannot beat centralized with centralized because the supply of GPU chips is so small so you have to go decentralized on which actually the CEO of render actually replied so excited to be part of this next phase with you so a lot of people are actually scared like dog they 
partner with Stability AI, but now the guy who's actually on the advisor board is leaving Stability AI. This cannot be good. Well, of course, Emmett is a smart guy and he already said that his shares have majority of the vote on Stability AI and he has full board control. So basically, you don't have to worry. He still has everything to say about Stability AI, but he's just taking off the CEO role, which is usually a very time taking role and he's gonna focus on decentralized AI with render and I cannot basically wait on what they're gonna announce in the video next week because it could really be revolutionary for decentralized AI and the render network and of course you guys want to know my price prediction of render but before I do this if you want to buy render Bitcoin and over 1000 cryptos while getting $30,000 in bonuses and rewards for just depositing and buying crypto. Just go to the top of the description and click on the partner Bybit link. Once you're at the page, be sure you see my name, Doc Crypto, and my referral code so you can get up to $30,000 in deposit rewards you really don't want to miss out on. So when I do a price prediction, I always look at two very important metrics, market cap and the rank. So if we take a look at a hysterical snapshot of the last bull market of 2021, we could see that a rank 30, which rank there currently is, has a market cap of 7.5 billion. But of course, everybody knows that bull runs get bigger and bigger. So if we take a look at the bull run of 2017 we can see that a rank 30 crypto had a market cap of around 1.9 billion so basically a 4x this means that a rank 30 crypto gets bigger and bigger by approximately 4x so what would this mean for render in numbers so basically render currently has a price around $10.80 with a market cap of 4 billion a rank 30 crypto last bull run had a market cap around 7.5 billion but every bull run of of course a rank 30 becomes bigger and bigger so the next one could already have a market cap of 30 billion this would already mean a 80 dollar render by the market cap above but render of course is going way higher than rank 30 top 10 is coming i've been saying this since rank 166 and we're heading towards it the reason will always be the same just like nvidia the largest manufacturer of gpus is a top 10 store stock render the largest decentralized gpu network deserves to be a top 10 crypto so what would this mean with the upcoming ai rally so basically in the bull run, the total crypto market will be at least 7 trillion. The AI sector will account for at least 10% of this, amounting to a market of 700 billion. For the people that think it's crazy, nobody five years ago when Nvidia was trading at 100 billion would believe they would be at 2.35 trillion today. So never let the haters doubt you. Send so then. So Render currently has a market cap of 4 billion, which means one fifth of the total. So this means that Render is programmed to be able to have a market cap of 140 billion or a price of 350. You're still early on Render, and I've been saying this since 40 cents. And of course, everyone, this is just my own opinion. This is not technical analysis or financial advice of course comment down below which you think the render bull run top will be because i'm very interested in everyone's opinion and of course i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like if you did also follow me on twitter at the real dog where i basically give you everything hot on render and crypto and everything also click on the screen right now if you want to know when is the best moment to buy render to maximize profits subscribe to my youtube channel for more epic videos and youtube until next time